guys and welcome back. Annabelle Comes Home was directed by Gary Donnerman and stars Makina Grace, Madison Isman, and Katie Sarif. And centers around Ed and Lorraine's 10 year old daughter Judy and her friends who unknowingly awaken an evil spirit trapped in a doll. Alright, let's get on with the positives. The cinematography and the lighting was good. It gave it that creepy mix. This movie wasn't all bad. It did have its bad moments. And I'll get into those later, but the lighting and the look of it wasn't all that bad. And the score had its moments too. Gave that creepy vibe and that eerie sound. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's talk characters. Vera Famarga and Patrick Wilson returns. Though they're not in it much, they gave solid performance as the Warrens, the demologists, experts of all these cursed objects. The whole film takes place in their house, and like I said, they're not in it much. They're only in the first and the last half of it, but when they did show up, they shined. Bikina Grace plays the 10-year-old Judy, the daughter of the Warrens. I thought she gave a solid performance. She showed fear. She knew how to act and give that vibe off and you really started to care for her, especially by the second act. She showed deepness of a troubled child. She gave a pretty good performance. Madison Isman, or Iceman, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name incorrectly, but she plays Mary, the babysitter, the one who's trying to figure out what's going on, and she's really accepting of Judy, but she knows all of her family's history, the things that Ed and Lorraine does, and the fact that Judy has these visions of these ghosts and that she sees dead people. <laughs> she gave a solid performance as, you know, someone who cares. She showed deep emotions as well. And leaned on to the mixed area. I gotta say it was Daniela, played by Katie Sarif. She played the best friend of Mary. And though she showed depth and character build up throughout the film and really showed you that you could care for this character. She was stupid. She made the dumbest decisions throughout this film. I felt like that if her character had been written differently, this wouldn't even be in the mixed area. She would be in the positives. But she's the reason why this movie happens. But later on during the second act, you actually start caring for this lady. You start caring for her a lot. I won't get into it because it, it'll be a spoiler otherwise, but you really do start caring for this character. And as far as the story goes, I didn't hate it or I didn't love it, but it's just something I've seen countless of times in the Conjuring verse. There wasn't nothing new added. There wasn't nothing exciting added. Just a bunch of jump scares and same old, same old. Speaking of which, the jump scares was okay. They wasn't 100%. I did jump in some parts, but they was okay. They made me jump more than most of the other Conjuring verse films did. Which leads me on to my negatives. That being said, because of the way the jump scares was written, which took too long in some parts, it, it kind of made me feel a little bored. It was making me go in my head, okay, let's get on with it. And it, they did that so much that sometimes it felt like false jump scares. And because of that, the pacing kind of suffered for it. And my last negative will have to be the character Bob, played by Michael Clavino. I felt like he was so unnecessary. He was a waste. He was useless. Though, I do feel like he could probably do better in the future, the actor. I just felt like he was a complete waste in this film. He held no merits, no means to any importance to what the story was trying to tell, except for just a love interest story between him and Mary and a serenade scene. Please stop. Before I get to my final thoughts, this film is dedicated to the real-life Lorraine Warren, who died a couple months ago, around the time when they were finishing production of this film, I believe. So this film is dedicated to her and to her memory. And my final thoughts, it's okay. Annabelle Comes Home is an okay ride. Like I said, it's nothing that you hadn't seen before. I feel like if you've seen past Conjuring, the first one, which was the start of this universe, you pretty much seen them all. I'm giving Annabelle Comes Home a C. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Share this video and hit that like icon. It helps my channel. What did you think of Annabelle Comes Home? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me that comment down below and give me your thoughts. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace the rep out.